guys, today we're going to be talking about some uh, ways to start really strong in Isekai Slime Memories. Now, I'm not a professional about this game, but this is what I noticed. And I'm looking at the uh, uh, the spreadsheet uh, that I'll show you guys. And um, just reading about it and just trying to figure things out. And it kind of makes sense. And here's what I want to tell you guys. All right. Things what you have to do. So when you're first re-rolling in this game, you will need to re-roll for something like this. <clears throat> it can take a while and tedious. So there's when you re-roll, uh, there's gonna be two two things you want to do: battle characters and protection characters. When you're re-rolling, this, uh, you get this from the tutorial re-roll, guaranteed one five star. You don't know what you're gonna get. Um, but you have to focus on the element. Okay. Then the protection character, the rate to get this one protection character is about one percent, right? One percent. Uh, the ba battle characters are roughly three percent. Okay. Now, um, with the protection character, you have to get the same element as the battle character. So as you can see here, this uh, orc that I have, um, orc disaster, is dark unit. Same goes for my Xion. She's also dark unit. So why is that? Because they go hand in hand. This protection character is going to be your, uh, your Xion, your corresponding elements. For example, this guy. Increase allies dark attack at start of battle by 10%. Increase allies attack, uh, allies fire attack. So he has dual elements, dark and fire. So you can mix and match of fire and dark, dark or whoever you have. Okay, so and these guys are game changing, man. They're, they're really good. So focus on what you want. There are other ones that you can get, which I'll show you this in a bit. So that's the first thing you have to do. Find a good combination. You can either have uh, wind to wind, earth to earth, or light to light, dark to dark, and fire to fire, or so on, right? Anyways, let's move on to the next thing that I want to talk about in this video, which is the building nation this building nation is so important you guys i haven't gotten that far but it's so important you have to in order to progress uh in the game you have to build your nation and you can do this constantly right so in your downtime with this i've been upgrading for a while now and it, it takes only this currency this free to play currency which is fine what you could do is you can buy some slot but i don't recommend it for free to plays because you could use your gems uh, on summons, right? So I wouldn't recommend it. Um, but if you really want to, you can go for it. Okay. Um, let's see. I would recommend just upgrading or maximizing all the buildings that you have right now, because that will help you unlock other things in the game. For example, it's gonna help you unlock. Um, let's see. Let's go to quest. It's gonna help you unlock these things. It's all locked for me because I just transferred to my mobile, right? So it's gonna unlock all these other things for you. For example, this event still on, still locked. See, you have to get 3,600 citizens. Keep that again. Unlocked by 3,600 more citizens. All right. And what do we have right now? We, we only have like less than a thousand, I think. So that's the very most important thing you have to do: maximize your building nations, right? And uh, with this, you can also assign units, for example. Let's have a look. You're gonna assign units that could give you higher outputs, right? For example, if this unit gives uh, you 234, maybe you can find a another unit that could replace her, right? Let's see. Optimize. Oh, uh, okay, we'll find that out. Uh, that I'm not sure. I'm still new to this, so... We'll see how to change that later. Oh, there you go, there. So you can see, this is 234, 234, 234, 234. This one is 156. So it looks like they specialize, these four kids, specialize on the training. And Gopta? It doesn't. So, <laughs> so that's all right. Just a quick tip for you guys. And really, this is the most important thing in the game. Building your nation. So you can progress in game and get more stuff, right? Let's move on to the spreadsheet. 
Oh, oh first, let's talk about this one. Uh, this I got this from a Discord server. So thank you to the mods in the Discord who put this up together. Um, let's see. This is how many summons we'll get. Just a note, right? And there's a million five star event. So I'm not sure if that's the banner right now. Um, see, this, the, this they also talk about the first week you get at least forty three summons, four to five, four five stars, if you buy the pack. If you buy that's not that's like, you know if you buy the pack. If not, you only get this much. Okay. Now let's see. Is there a tier list? What what to reroll for? Uh, this is what they told us. There's no tier list at the moment. Uh, release you know, it two to three days, right, to be collected. And right now there'll be looks like free to play, free to play friendly, which is nice, because I think you could also use some four star units to support. So this goes to like World Flipper, where you could use like two stars, three stars, and they're still viable. All right, in this game it looks like that's the same case too. And the rate here, as we can see, is four percent to get a five star, right? Get a five star. However, it's only three percent, as I said earlier, to get the battle unit, and one percent to get the uh, protection unit, which is more important than the battle units, right? Because it gives you more buffs, or overall, it gives you more uh, buffs to your units rather than having one unit, right? That doesn't really do much for your team, except maybe changing some stuff or healing or something. Let's see. If you really, oh, here this is what they said. If you really must uh, have an answer, though, best guy just looking for would be Win Milim, the Win Hakuru, Space Rimuru, Gazelle, Bal and for Battlers and for Ifrit, Veldora, Charybdis, for protection. Now these are the three best ones. Okay. Now, rerolling for protection is super hard. Man, it's oh, take your time. It took me hours just to get uh, the orc, the orc destroyer or something, and Xion together. And I've been trying to find an element that matches together for like half a day already. So it's take takes hours, man. And the reason why you don't want to reward for too long too is because you'll miss out on the free pulls, right? You might miss out on you'll miss out on these ones right here. These are the ones you might miss out on. Right. If you keep re-rolling, so you'll miss out on the potential 5 stars that you can get. So at the same time, you kind of want to rush too, right? So here, the last sentence, they said, Milim Veldora will be the best one. Rimuru Kribdis, Hakuru Veldora, Gazelle Ramiris, Benimaru plus Ifrit. And then they said, this is the best combos right now, in their opinion. Okay, so let's go have a look at the spreadsheet. Here you go. Credits to Meow. Meow8796. Okay, credits to you, my man, for our girl, or whatever you want to be called, for putting this together, man. So let's see. Reroll. Talk about the rerolling here. Um, five star guaranteed on a 30 login, as he said. Uh, 500 magic traces to game release login bonus. That's a lot. Because I believe 10 pull is 300. So you just need 100 more. Then you have 20 pulls right there. Okay. So let's look at the battle characters. These are your units that are on the field. Right. So some of the units out here. You, you kind of have a, an idea. If you look at this team comps later. But some of the best ones to look out for is this one. Right here. Chancellor of Tempest. Rimuru. Uh, her Beretta for dark. Mm, what else? Shion. Shion, I don't know, but for some reason she hits a bit hard. So I'm starting to like her. And she grants Pierce. And I think Pierce in this game is big. It's a like game changing, in my opinion. There's one time, it, just, it was just a tutorial. One of the units that I had, five star, it pierced an attack and it almost killed the bat instantly. I was like, holy crap. So I think, I'm not sure. So I think Pierce, combination of Pierce, Pierce uh, power and crit, crit, crit damage, crit rate, those four is going to be like your best friends right there. So I'm going to, for me personally, that's what I'm going to try to build on. Pierce, 
uh, crit rate and crit damage, right? I forget like 50% crit rate. Or if you have a unit, it's going to give you crit rate. You just have to build on crit damage, right? Then this is your Hakuru. This guy, I believe he debuffs unit. Ah, see? Very good. Decrease defense and increase all crit rate for allies. Very, very good. That's very good. Oh, look, he also ups crit rate. Look at this. And you have 50% lower HP. Increase your own pierce rate by 7%. So, <laughs> so you get crit rate, uh, Pierce, sorry, and Benny Maru, this Benny Maru, I'm not sure if he's good, but he looks like he hits hard, but I don't know, but that's just what I saw. Mm, this is the girl, Milim, Dragon Majin, this is the white, the wind Milim that you want to be pulling for if you want to use uh, Velderon. Increases own critical damage by 20%. Increases so combo damage by so you're just increasing damage by a lot. And increase our allies guard penetration. That is a that's very nice. Guard pen. Now let's look at the sorry, I jumped into team comps. We got the protection characters. Here in this protection characters, um these are the you kind of like make a big emphasis on this one on the Discord. Roll for a team, well, for one protection character with the corresponding element for the battle characters, right? Because they go hand in hand. So, we have the five star. We got Milim, right? We got this guy. He's mo mostly for counter attack, very defensive team comps. Eldoran looks like very versatile for wind and dark. We got the Orc Disaster. For dark and fire. We got Charybdis for space and what? Space and wind. Right? Space and wind. Then we got Ifrit. And then we got Ramirez. So those are your five star protection characters. What do they do? So fear for Ifrit. He does all allies fire attack battle. Right? And then light does that. And then Let's move on to the team comps, right? Team comps here. I want to put this link below you guys so you guys can see too for yourselves. So you can see these are, this is uh, Veldoran, Vel Veldora, sorry, with the these two units that are highly suggested. Right? Milim Hakuru, which is this two, plus this guy. You'll see, you want to be rerolling for at least one of these two units and this guy. For wind, and see, there's also descriptions down here. Okay, and this is for your light team. So it's mostly this guy and Ramirez that you want to be rerolling for. And they make a quick brief summary down here. Basically, Ramirez, we guess, was the main DPS. Okay, and here's the other description that they have. Here's your space team. Is basically these two. <laughs> I tried rolling for this, but no luck. So you can see they're also used for combinations. Unit ideas. And here's your fire main team, man. You got your Ifrit and Benimar. I wanted to roll for fire. Why? Just because of it's on my name. It's in the channel, Pyronite. <laughs> but no luck. I couldn't get Ifrit at all. I am barely having I've only for I rolled for six hours. I've only had two protection roll, which was the earth protection. And the dark protection, and that was it. Hmm. Okay, let's see. And this is your water, right? That's what should we want to be rolling for. So here, they also says uh, it's mostly defense. So you're gonna need to have like a the Rimuru Chancellor <laughs> and Earth. Very defensive from what it looks like, which is kind of true. <laughs> And your dark team. So your dark team, you have to roll for this and then one of these units or both if you have. And then you can get these ones. That'd be great. Oh, this is four star. Four star, four star. Right? This unit. <laughs> four stars. I think this is also four star. Yeah, this is four star. Four star, four star. So not that, shouldn't be that hard to get. Right? Oh, yeah, this one. 
three star, I believe. I'm not sure if that's three star. It's a fire unit. <laughs> Using now my team right now. So it says here you got a high DPS, somewhat low sustain. That is true because I don't see any healers in here. Maybe defense only, which is this guy. This is damage, damage, damage. Uh, this is also damage. <laughs> so it's like like one unit for like healing or defense. Hmm. This is very true too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, that is it for now, you guys. Um, thank you for watching, and hopefully that didn't take too long. And I'm gonna put this link below. And thank you for watching.